Today I'd like to talk about the Growstar 3-head 150-watt LED grow light. This was sent to me from Growstar and I am appreciative that they are willing to let me have this for testing and review. And I just want to share what I found with it. Uh, will not bore you with the typical unboxing because nobody really wants to see that. What you want to see is probably the nuts and bolts of how this actually all works out for the average grower. Here's the feature that uh, is unusual because a lot of lights are required to be hung from a ceiling fixture or within a grow tent. This clamp will actually clamp onto the side of a countertop or a desk quite easily. Gives you a lot more flexibility on moving the light around as needed for short term or long term purposes. The aluminum gooseneck uh, coils that, that go up to the base of the LEDs are flexible and self-supporting so they can be set in several different configurations. I tried to get these as high as I could and space the lights out a little bit so I could approximate like a typical grow. The manufacturer has provided a lot of cabling. There's a transformer block. As you go up you'll notice that there is a typical almost like a PC uh, power uh, connector that connects it on up to a control. Now this control is interesting because it has several buttons on it and if you were to go through the manual you'll notice that the power button is quick to respond. The brightness settings, there are six settings on there. This is the highest setting and let's just back down through those. Five, four, three, two, one. Now, you'll notice that on level one that the LEDs are still on, but uh, really among those uh, settings, you're probably going to end up using level six. Now, if you were to hit this again, it will not bounce up to level six right away. It'll ascend two, three, four, five, six. And if I were to uh, turn the light off, you'll see that it glows. You can actually set this as a built-in timer for uh, three hours, six hours, or 12 hours. And I really don't know why anybody would ever use the three or the six on this because typically for plants, you'll want to use at least 12 sometimes uh, 16 or 18 hours of light. It would have been nice to have had that option for 12, 16, 18 instead. The second button down is supposed to turn the LED lamp heads on and off so you could run one, two, or three at a time. So if I were to power the light on, and hit the button once, nothing happens. Twice, two lights go out. Third time, two lights come back on. So that does not work as intended per the uh, book. So the literature that comes with the light indicates that you can grow several plants underneath of it. Uh, I would have to say that I disagree with that because the amount of light that is coming from these lights would not be sufficient for flowering of uh, tomatoes or uh, some of the other more light intensive uh, plants that a gardener might grow. It is more of a cloning or seeding lamp and it would be quite simple to move a tray underneath of those uh, LED heads. I did pick up an energy monitor plugged in and was curious about how much um, electricity draw was coming off of those LEDs and what I found out was a little bit on the surprising side. On level one, it's only 1.3 watts, and then going up the levels, it goes to 5.6, 10.1, 14.6, 19, and the brightest setting, level six, 22.3 watts. Now, what does that come out to in terms of relevant growing? I take a sheet of legal paper which is eight and a half by 14 and put that underneath the lights because that is probably about the uh, amount of grow area 
that I would probably use underneath this light. I divided the uh, legal paper into four grids and took readings. And what I found was at 12 inches above the countertop, I was only getting anywhere between 70 and 80 uh, par value. Now that is below what you would typically want to use for seeding. Seeding, you know, you would probably want to seed or clone around 150 to um, say 250 uh, par. So in order to get that up where it needs to be, you almost have to take this 12 inch height and cut it in half. That'll bring you up to about 150. Now, if 150 par is sufficient for you, great. If not, you might want to come up to about the four inch height above the top of whatever your seating material is. So does this light have a useful uh, purpose for me? I would have to say uh, a qualified could be. Now, if you are expecting 150 watts and being able to uh, grow small tomato plants and cactus, uh, sunflowers, things that they have used in their marketing material, that's probably not going to happen. But for seeding, I think, in fact, you should be able to uh, seed or, or root clones quite well, provided that, as I mentioned, you keep the materials that you have almost directly underneath these LED lights. Uh, since plants grow quickly, you, you probably couldn't leave your uh, seedlings underneath here for too long and would have to move those on out into other growth systems. But uh, for launching plants or cloning plants, I would say that this will have a purpose in my grow arsenal.